Good morning! I hope you're well. Today I'm gonna show you the results of my birch tree painting with all the scales. But before I do, I'm gonna go to the dog park with Lennox. Are you excited to go to the park, bud? You wanna go to the park? Yeah? Play with your buddies? These are the sounds he makes because he knows that we're going there. He's very excited. Hey, bud. You happy? <laughs> he's too busy smelling everything and he's not really running much. But there's only little dogs right now, so they tend to not play as much. When there's bigger dogs, like not huge dogs, but like medium-sized dogs that are a bit more hardy. He really plays a lot and he runs like crazy. It's so much fun to see him play. I wish we had like a huge garden so that he could really play in a sister for him. I think it would make a big difference in his life if he could play with like a, a little doggy friend on the daily, you know? Soon. I'd like to have another dog within the next couple of years. Hey bud, you're so pretty. Are you smelling all the smells? We're running him with treats. David is at the other end with some treats. And we are calling him to us so that he gets to run and tire him out a little bit sometimes. He doesn't want to go. Do you want a treaty? Do you want a treaty? Sit. Good boy, sit. Go see daddy. Go. <laughs> Lena, come see mama. Yeah. Good boy. You're so good. That was a nice breath of fresh air. I'm back in the studio and I'm ready to look at the birch tree. Oh, it's upside down. Let me flip it for you. Okay, let's look at it. Here's the good news. I like the effect that it gives from afar. It looks very nice to me. I wasn't sure if I was going to dislike the scaling, but I actually don't. It makes it look gray and very nice. I, I, I do like the effect. But when you get up close, here are a few issues. For some reason, this is peeling off. Everything is peeling off. Everywhere it's pe peeling off. Some bits didn't peel off, but so many did. So I have a few questions for you. First, do you like the effect of the scales for this specific composition? Let me know what you think. Second thing, I have a suspicion that the reason it's peeling off is because I added too much paint to the crackling medium. They were saying that you're only supposed to add 5% of paint for a, a tinted mix, so I probably put too much. Now, I don't know what I should do. Should I peel it off and redo it with uh, like a less concentrated amount of paint? Should I try to kind of use a gel medium to stick it back on and leave it like that? I'm a little confused. I don't know what to do. Let me think about it. And while I think about it, remember I had extra medium left and I made two quick small paintings. I haven't even looked at them and I don't know what they look like. So let's look at them together. They're up here. Okay, I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna look. I'm just gonna put them here. Put them here. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. You wanna see my reaction when I look? Wait, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look. Oh, 
Okay. Ooh, I like this one. Let me show you. This is the one that I just added this piece because all the background was already made. So I added the center piece of gray. It's on a wood panel and it didn't lift the way it did with the other medium. And I don't understand why, because I use the same mix. So I'm actually baffled. I don't know what happened there. I do like the effect of this. I think I might want to maybe add a contour line here or add some flicking of white paint. I'm just, I'm not sure exactly, but I do like it. And the other one. I like it even more. So it's kind of like abstract flowers. Again, I use the same mix and I'm not getting that flaky peeling off effect that I was getting with the other one. So I'm stumped. I'm really unsure what happened then. The only difference is that there was a thick layer of white paint, but there was a thick layer of paint on my other painting and the scales are totally fine. I'm shocked. I just don't know. I don't know what happened. I'm gonna try to work on it and try to see what I could do. I, I think I might just use it as a test piece and not necessarily aim for it to be a final work of art just because of that peeling problem. I think on it, on the painting, I might try a few different things in different areas. And even if I can't really salvage it at the end of it, at least I'll have the knowledge of what works and what's nice. And maybe I could recreate it and maybe it'll work as well. And maybe I, I can actually salvage it. So I'm just going to work on it a little bit and see what I can come up with to fix it. I'm actually looking at it carefully right now. And what I'm observing is that whatever is lifting is not just the scales themselves. It's the entire under layer of white paint that I had put. See, this is the paint that I put and it was kind of thick in many areas. And if I look at this here, it lifted the paint off the canvas, that white paint. It's not just the scales here. So maybe the paint wasn't fully, fully dry to the right to the middle, right up to the canvas. That's the only thing I could see because this never happened to me before. The plan is to glue back together the peeling of the scales with some gel medium and to do a patch test of crackling medium without any added tint to it like the raw crackling medium straight on the white and see if it's going to do the same lifting thing it's a little bit disappointing just because i like the effect of it i do like the effect of it it's quite mysterious I'm using matte gel to fill in all the gaps and I'm putting a very generous amount kind of willy-nilly and I know that once it's dry matte gel is supposed to be translucent transparent but it does leave a white film but in this case I don't I'm not really concerned with a little bit of white because it's kind of gray I'll let this dry for a few days, I think, because these scales take up to a week to dry. If this works well, the gluing part, I will likely be able to reapply a second coat of crackling medium on a surface that is sturdier. And hopefully that would work. Also, I was curious to know your opinion uh, for this composition. This is obviously 
uh, some kind of abstract birch tree trunk on a yellow background. I was wondering if you think it would look nice with a contour or a darker edge like in charcoal here or a dark gray just to define this edge all along the tree or if it's just nice just like that with a softer effect let me know your opinion i'm not sure what i should do i haven't put any gel medium yet in this section to glue the scales down and i'm actually going to do a patch test here i think and here so i want to know basically if the paint is faulty or if once the paint has fully dried because this has been a few days that the paint is dry maybe this is gonna tell me if that was the reason so i'm just gonna put raw scaling or crackling medium here So I'm gonna have to wait a few days for this result to come in and see if it pulls the paint again or not. And here I'm going to do the same thing as I did with this, meaning I'm going to add a little bit of black to the cracking medium and do another patch test. This doesn't look great right now, but as it dries, it's gonna fade a lot. I just want to see if it pulls the white paint. Did you see this? I am so annoyed. It's so frustrating when things don't work the way you want them to. If you know how to spray paint to get like nice little speckles in a controlled manner, please tell me. I'm really frustrated because it was going in a direction that I really liked and now Okay, I need to walk away from this. I need to take a sip of tea. Okay, I recomposed myself and I think I was able to salvage it. I did a, light, a darker shade of blue for the background worked really hard to remove as much black as I could uh, from the scales because it goes in between the little cracks so that's why it's kind of more difficult than regular paint because you don't want like a big blob of paint to like fill in the cracks and then you lose that texture but I was able to salvage it I don't feel like it's fully finished yet I think it's interesting for where it's at but I don't feel like it's complete not sure exactly what it's needing more, but I feel like it's not complete. I'm gonna let it simmer and come back to it another day. The second little square painting, I'm super happy with it. I think the little leaves or flower, whatever you wanna call them, are very delicate and endearing. I like the color scheme, I like the contour line, I like the texture I got with the scales. Love it. I'm really happy with that one all done now we wait we're gonna have to wait a few days i don't know exactly when it will be dry but i'm hopeful the gel medium will glue everything down i'm pretty hopeful and i want to know what happened to that scaling thing so don't forget to leave me your opinions and your comments about this birch 
tree painting. I would like your suggestions. I'm sending you good inspirational vibes and I'll see you tomorrow.